Hi, my name is Donna Drakes. I own Brooklyn Basin. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Joy from Secret Garden. Hi, I'm Charlotta Jansen. This is Che Oscar. Hi, my name is Henry Kwame Owusu. Uh, I'm representing Butch and Coco. My name is Nyla Caicedo. I am the manager at Scout BK. Hey, my name is Prince. I'm from Crazy Chicken and Pizza. Uh, hi, this is Chandra. My name is Mireya Nagala. Hi guys, my name is Vanessa. I'm here at Zaka Cafe, 426 Marcus Garvey. My name is Samantha DiStefano. I'm the owner and operator of Mama Fox. I'm from Mom and Pop. Hi, we're Kirk and Shawana McDonald, owners of the Southern Comfort here in Bethel Stuyvesant, in Brooklyn. I've been in the community for the last 20 years and I want to continue to serve my community. And we've built this restaurant together um, for two years. I'm really proud of my older sister Anna and a business partner, partner Tanya, for putting this together. My family and I grew up in Bedside, Brooklyn. We were trying to build a family here. And we're really proud to have this restaurant. And we're going to discuss a little bit about how COVID-19 has hit us. After the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately, like many other restaurants in our neighborhood, we had to close. And it's been rough. We haven't gotten any aid. We can only do delivery and to go, and it's really, really hard to pay your bills with that. Businesses down anyway from 60 to 80%. It's really been devastating. We had to let go of our staff. It's very difficult for us to stay afloat. Even the landlord didn't give us any permission to, you know, for the discount for the, for the rent. You know, it was hard, it was stressful. It was very disastrous for everyone. They we had to cover the old utilities still, and we have to still survive. We are unable to seat, obviously, diners and um, drinkers on the inside of our establishments. And even when we are allowed to open in phase three in our dining rooms, we know that it's going to be at a very diminished capacity. People feel safer, you know, to seat outside, so we definitely need outside seating. We want thriving restaurants that they can come back Throw us a lifeline, please. This would literally save us. If we don't open up and we don't open up fast, we're just going to be another business that's out of business. Yeah. We want to survive, basically. So if you allow us to do the sidewalk seating now, we have a chance to survive. But if not, we'll fail as a small business, and we don't want that to happen to any of us, especially in this community. Uh, please give us all those settings for our customer, minimum 10 seat. Together, safely, outdoors and now because our bills are piling up and it's killing us. Even though we don't have commercial overlay, it's really important for us to make sure that we can accommodate our customers the right way. Plenty of room outside, we can social distance, we will have hand washing stations, everything that is needed to open up. It's really important to not forget small businesses like us. The sidewalk permits could literally be the difference of life and death for some of our establishments. So Mr. Mayor, please, council members, please just give us a break. And we will still continue to be here to feed you guys and make sure that you guys are safe as well and fed. Best Style Eats in the streets was to make sure that we have more open space so we can put seats out here and have our community, you know, break bread with us. And this would greatly, greatly help us. Let Best Style Eat in the street. Let Best Style Eat in the street. Please! <laughs> <laughs> And I think it would be nice if you guys help us out. So and be the hero that you are.